Jim Playfair is the new mm-hmm. associate coach of the Prince George Cougars, and he's joining us here today. Um, firstly, uh, Jim, thanks for taking the time, and congratulations uh, on being named the associate coach of the Prince George Cougars. I guess just how does it feel? Uh, I'm assuming pretty cool to to come back north and now uh, be be-, be back behind the bench also. Yeah, it's really exciting, Cole. I think that Mark Lamb and I have been talking for quite a while, and, and then uh, uh, once we kind of had um, the job, organized and mark went to the ownership group and and uh we were able to to take care of it and, and uh, get the business part of it done and now the exciting part's uh just around the corner i've reached out to a few of the players and talked to them and they're excited to get going for the season so i think after last year's experience being around the team around the ownership around the excitement in the playoffs that um it really energized me about uh getting back uh into the game and certainly uh, the opportunity in Prince George makes it even much more exciting uh, being close to home. I wanted to ask about last year because, you know, your role, kind of a, a part-time role being, uh, you know, helping when needed, not necessarily behind the bench, a little, probably a little bit different, but what was that last year kind of like for you? Uh, I guess seeing it from a different lens. Well, I think the first of all, the most important thing was just being able to be around the coaches and then connect to the players and recognize their relationship. Um, which is it, it is different than than the professional hockey uh, level of relationship. I think it's more of a business mindset. I think you come in, you do your job, you leave. Where in the junior uh, level is is really exciting to see the interaction, the consistent interaction, the details that were involved, um, and really helping the players in so many different aspects. And it's been a long time since I've been around junior hockey. So last year. Um, you know, working with the coaches a little bit on some structure stuff and more importantly, um, trying to connect uh, what was important in the details the players needed to help them win. And uh, so being around last year, I uh, got my juices flowing. I, I talked to um, some NHL teams over the course of the summer. I talked to another WHL team. And, and when I looked at the whole picture, I just felt like Prince George is in a window of, of winning right now. And I think they got a window where they see they can um, – had some parts and 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 uh, and really make headway in Prince George in the next couple of years. So that was that was really exciting. I think last year tied into that for me. You mentioned you know being around the coaching staff, and I think you know when I look at the coaches now, I, I love the balance. You know, you look at Mark Lamb, who's obviously a long NHL career, won a Stanley Cup, um, been in Prince George for a long time now, and then obviously with a younger guy now in Carter Rigby, his second year in the league, and now yourself uh, into the fold. I just feel like the the whole balance behind the bench is uh, quite a unique one. I know, and speaking to Mark, I think that was Mark's goal was to find some stability where there were some veteran guys around rigs and i think around the players and and uh mark and i have worked together in the past we've been knowing each other for quite a few years now after our time together in phoenix so i think the opportunity to to take on a bigger role uh with mark was certainly you know something that appealed to me and i think as we talked through his vision of how it was going to look and how i thought i could add to the group it just made sense and it and and uh, again the timing is good um, the team is good. Uh, I think the fans are ready for another level of more con- uh, longer playoff runs, more consistent winning. And, and uh, I feel confident I can help facilitate some of those uh, some of those goals. You know, you mentioned it a couple of different times, but just where the team's at right now it was obviously it's been a very exciting off season with um, two guys getting drafted with, with Riley Height and Cohen Zemer. And just as you said, you know, where the window is right now with this team after a really fun playoff run. That's got to be a, a really exciting thing for, for your side also uh, coming into 23-24. Yeah, and I think, you know, Mark went through the depth chart of, of where he sees the group. I think he also has a, a well-stocked um, uh, draft pick uh, arsenal that he can, he can dip into to, to move the group along. And I think our responsibility is to get the team playing consistent, playing, getting playing the right way and give ourselves a chance to win every night. And then if there's an opportunity to improve the group, whether it's through drafts or however, or sorry, draft picks or trades or whatever may, whatever may, you know, be the course we need to go. Um, he's certainly willing to do it and do it right now. And I think that's where, you know, you learn going through last year, watching Seattle, the teams are, are in a cycle and, and uh, certainly they, they were, 
you know, perhaps the best team in a long time in the WHL. And, and so to lose to them gives you the recognition of what it's going to take to be successful. And I think they, that was the, that's the, the, you know, the, the high water mark where, where teams have to get to if they want to win consistently. And certainly talking to Mark after that series, um, we all recognize that they, the, the, there's room to grow in Prince George. And there's also an exciting time because the base is good. The, 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 you know, the, the goaltender is good. The defense are, are really good. You got some really good forwards. Obviously, the two boys you recognize. But there's a lot of other pieces within the group that, 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 that fill really good roles. And so um, I think the winning needs to start now. And, and uh, I think everyone's prepared to do that. Last one before I let you go, Jim, again, thanks for taking the time to be a Northern guy, to be from Fort St. James and grow up there, and now to be coaching in the North. Um, does it feel like it's come somewhat full circle? I guess, uh, how cool is it, to again, to to be back North? That's really neat. I think when you look at, you know, what, what it's done for, for all the small communities around Prince George, it's given a lot of young people the opportunity to come watch high-level hockey. And I think, you know, what, with Denny Ham, he was being in Smithers and, 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 you know, the connection that he brought, I, you know, I remember listening over the years, how excited people were that somebody from the NHL um, cared enough to get back invested in the group. And so I look at the whole program where, you know, a lot of minor hockey teams have, have it's been hard for a lot of minor hockey teams with all the academies that are popping up around. A lot of kids are leaving their towns to go away and pursue their dreams. And I think the ability to come back home and, and help young kids believe they can come down and watch hockey and maybe in their own way find their own path there i know that you know for us going through it um i would have loved to play in prince george when i was going to the western hockey league and obviously it wasn't available so going back there i got lots like you say lots of family friends my wife's from northern bc and uh, it just ties in perfect it's really in a lot of ways it's really exciting and it, it all comes down to how do we win? It's only exciting when you do win. And that's our, our, our mindset is how do we figure out a way to become a consistent team, a top team in the BC league and then in our division and then throughout the Western league. So I think that's our, our role. And again, to do it back in Northern BC is, is, uh, is the place I, I'm excited look forward to doing it. Well said, Jim, uh, appreciate the time again. Thank you again. And congratulations on being named the associate coach, of the Prince George Cougars. And uh, we look forward to seeing you soon in Prince George. Awesome. My pleasure. Thanks, Cole.